So things to do on Thursday, traveling day on Thursday too. Yeah, you you got good. back Saturday. Good, Corpus. You want, you want a nice little good place. Too. You you frequent Corpus. I mean, I haven't been in Corpus in years, man. What's frequent? I mean, what's what's Corpus like? That's cool. It's resort city. It's all right. Shout out to PJ Bombers. Nice little restaurant over there. Uh, did they pay you for that? No, nah, but I mean, the food was good though. <laughs> First hit for free. The next time you beat me, you better have 20 G. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, yes, though. indeed. PJ Bombers, if y'all ever in Corpus. Mm. So, what were you doing down there in Corpus? First two. Uh, uh, they had Tiska. They had a Tiska meet there. Ah. And for those that do not know, yes, to explain to like the listeners myself, what Tiska is, sir. Uh, it's the Texas Intergalactic Swimming Coaches Association. Did that boy say intergalactic? <laughs> intergalactic. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm like, I ain't know. Maybe you know something I don't know. You know. Okay. Swimming Coaches Association. It's the association that governs by swimming six and diving. By six D. By six. No, he, and he amended that with the conversation with Kamal. He just didn't relay that. Oh, uh, and what was the what was the amendment? I'm going to be late. <laughs> Which we see. So like, my week has been spectacular, except for the um, fact that it has been no different. That boy said, because I'm single. I don't get to uh, enjoy the whole Christmas and Thanksgiving breaks and stuff. Because I'm not in the education field right now. So it's just a normal week, you know. Just a normal week, was it? Normal week. Working, working, working. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Because people want their cable for Thanksgiving. They want it hooked up for Thanksgiving. They want way more than that. What's up, Hamad Jimmy? Jimmy's? <laughs> anyway, so, man. How was your week, sir? My week was cool. It was, uh, it was uneventful, which is always a good thing. That it is. You know, I, I, me and my That's kids, we have that conversation all the time. They were like, uneventful means boring. I'm like, boring means great. Because boring means that everything 
Starlink was uneventful. Uh, I mean, it's boring Jesus. means that everything is functioning properly. <laughs> that there is no uh, unforeseen uh, 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 <laughs> wrench. I know monkeys. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm like boring is good. We always want boring weeks. We want uneventful, <laughs> boring weeks. Boring is awesome. But it was some things, man. I, I observed some some stuff this week, and I actually want to get you guys as. Uh, I observed Ortiz getting knocked out last night. Oh, I wasn't going to start with that, but okay, fine. We can start with Ortiz. Ah. Woo, straight down the turnpike. Yada. One punch knockout. That is why. One hit a quitter. That is why he is the brown bad, bomber. Bad man. Bomb squad. One of the most feared persons in boxing. I don't know. Ortiz was giving it to him, too, though. I wouldn't say giving it to him. He was giving it to him. He was working. Ortiz was boxing. He's not a bad boxer. Ortiz got no chin, it appears. No, no Ortiz, chin. You, no, would no, you no, have no. a chin after that? No, 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 no. We saw Deontay Waller has amazing power. If we you saw have his not chin. noticed it stuck that. out when he This fell. man literally has knocked out every, well, everyone but Tyson Fury. He has literally oh, knocked well, out. Oh, well, that's on a technicality, hey, too. Hey, wait. He, he has literally knocked out. Every fighter he has faced, every fighter except for Tyson Fury, and we watched him knock him down twice. The last five of them, I think, four of them that I've seen, they weren't one hit of quitters, though. Like but that's what I'm saying. He's working, he's knocking, he's, he's stumbling people, he's knocking them down, they get up. He's working, he's working, he's just wearing them down, wearing them down. That boy was losing. At that point, losing, several people have said it already. It was losing on several people's scorecards. But that's because he hadn't connected with that one punch. He was losing again. You're right. He was losing because, yes, he was being outboxed. Uh, you know, Ortiz is a Cuban, a Cuban boxer. So, of course, he, he, his technique is impeccable. His, uh, his marksmanship his chin is, is very impeccable. Nobody has knocked him out but Deontay Wilder. And what I'm telling you is Deontay Wilder's power is it, it appears to be unmatched. It appears to be unmatched. This man has knocked out every boxer he has faced except for Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury barely got up. Tyson Fury barely got up. Boy hit the undertake on. Exactly. All of a sudden, like somebody <laughs> knock knock. The Wait devil up. himself took over his body and was like, get up. And that was, again, that was another fight that he was getting outpointed on and outboxed <laughs> in. What <laughs> say? Ortiz could have won, but <laughs> that punch threw him off. Yes, that punch threw him off. You think? Yeah. If that ain't the understatement. If that ain't the understatement of the year. Yes, the punch threw him off into the canvas. Yes. That so, punch was hellacious. Everybody. For those of you who don't know, yes, uh, Deontay Wilder uh, scored a seventh round knockout. A with one 10 punch. seconds left. Nine a seconds one left. a one nine punch seventh left. round knockout with over, nine seconds left. Over uh, all he had to do was dance around that after getting that wobbled area. about twenty seconds before. I wouldn't say wobbled. No, he was wobbling. Boy, yeah, his legs, legs weren't there. Was he was looking, looking like Jermaine Taylor. Wobbly. You could tell he was hurt. Wobbled. Mm. He was looking like Jermaine Taylor. He wasn't too wobbled. You see, he quickly recovered and was able to throw that punch. That was like, that was. I mean, that was, the, was I, I think, out of desperation. That's what I'm thinking. Listen. And I saw the opportunity. It definitely makes you wonder what could have been with Joshua and Deontay. I mean, my, my thing is, why can't it still be? I mean, he he and lost. Okay, no so it's not as much money going to him. That man says it's he not going to be as big of a purse overall. But he still, it would appear the closest competitor he has to. He said he won't belt. Not, that's not what Andy Ruiz said. Andy Ruiz said, "I'm the champion." Mm -hmm. We'll go through Joshua again. And they 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 are set to fight again. Go through Joshua again, then you're gonna see Wilder. So that got is the, the belt. next that is the next set of fights that we have a rematch between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, and also a rematch between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz coming up very soon. Uh, pulled off the upset of the. 
boxing. What century. was interesting was Deontay Wilder's younger brother fought got on the undercard. Out, right? of, he fought on the undercard and has gotten knocked out for a, a consecutive time. Really? This, this is, is his time? second consecutive fight he has been knocked out oh, in. So he's the bomb mind squad you, and get bomb squad on. Mind you, he was just uh, supposedly be was supposed to be banned for illegal substances. Oh Jesus! PEDs. Nah, nah, see, you're trying to be your brother. You yeah, don't do see, that, and I was like, you trying to be your brother too hard. Don't. You trying to be your brother too Drop hard. Drop that weight class, bro. And what's up, so Kim? He fights at cruiserweight. What's up, Ernest? He fights at cruiserweight, and yes, the little brother was knocked out. Mm. And so I guess the, the the big brother had to avenge the name, the family name. Oh, so that's why it came out so crumbly. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, mm. Diamond studded shredder outfit. <laughs> Is that what you <laughs> call it? The diamond. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did look like shredder though, just yeah, a little bit. Shredder, just a little bit. But yeah, so I don't know. It'll be interesting. I I am curious to see what. Uh, Andy Ruiz, who is a very good boxer, would do. Very out of shape boxer. No, actually, he's, he, yeah, you haven't seen you him. You can call him out of shape all he wants. You haven't seen him lately. He's getting it together. He, he Not round anymore. Yes, yeah, somewhat. Roundish. Roundish. Uh, yes. I bet you won't say that to his face. But no, he's actually a very good boxer. And so one thing whip. that one thing that Deontay Wilder does not perform well against is boxers. But he has an equalizer in his right hand. So, I mean, the last couple of fights, we have seen him be outpointed, outboxed, but he has been able to salvage his losses with that impeccable power that he possesses. One or he wears out the, he waits till the boxer, his opponent wears out a he little bit. He likes to let the big people. And then just. Well, they call that championship rounds. And this one actually was a little earlier than the championship rounds. The championship rounds are considered the eighth on up, the eighth on back. I know, it was sure, going, hey, it was, it was headed there. As I'm sure Ortiz <laughs> it was would tell there. you. If he could have just got up punch came a out second nowhere. before, we would have had a pretty good fight. I don't know. I don't know if he would have made the next that round. That punch up. came out of nowhere. Well, he feels like it came out of nowhere. Oh, no. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> he took it. He yeah, took he, it like it came out of he nowhere. He felt thought, it. That boy thought that left was coming. He felt it. It was like, it where'd that punch that come from? That boy got hit was on like, the top of the I bet his uh -oh. head said, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> no. His forehead did not. His forehead like, was like, But it's the third look. match. You still don't know where this came from? <laughs> Dang. Uh, now, I mean, the referee also might have stopped it a bit early. Not at all. Stopped I it early. I completely disagree. Now, don't that get me wrong. Count, he gave he me was 11 hurt. seconds, technically. He was hurt. And he, he was still hurt. didn't what get up. He counted the 10. It wasn't Did he count stop. the 10? Yeah. Well, he was on he his feet. He counted all the way But I guess he wasn't standing all the <laughs> way up. He was on his feet. Still doubled over. I guess, I guess he wasn't <laughs> like, standing all the way up. He so wasn't I guess, standing on his feet like, okay, I got I don't know. The count, the count seemed a little quick. It seemed no, a little quick. No, it, like he says. Because Ortiz got up. Then he got to a knee. It, it's quick. Then he got to both his feet. And it, then it's quick before you know you it, he was hear like, the first five. Well, seconds. that's you got. You make a good point. When your brain is trying to figure out what is going on, you are absolutely. You bring touche, brother. You bring up a good I'm point. Batman, well, I your did. body says no. You bring up. <laughs> We're not doing this up again. A good point. We're not doing this in three minutes. No, no. I'm Batman, I did. No. We're not. No. You bring like, up I'm a good tired. Point. So now, because I'm actually, I'm actually trying to wait on Ahmad because I, I want his take. Uh, he won't be here today. He won't yeah, be here at all. It's be a while, bro. Oh, We're already at six fifteen. Let's talk up. about it. So you are listening to the garage apartment. Well, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. You listening Thank to you the garage for apartment? Being here. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. Thegarageapt.com. So now, what I wanted to talk to you guys about, the, 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 your, I wanted to get you all's takes. Because I don't know if you all have been watching it, but... Uh, Carmelo's back? I care nothing about Carmelo well, being back. Um, I've been, I, I observed this week... The back and forth, and I guess you could say the performance. It, I can't really even say it's back and forth because it was really coming from one side. The performance 
that radio and TV personality Stephen A. Smith was putting on involving uh, the Colin... Multiple ones. I really hadn't heard anything. I involving the Colin Kaepernick situation. I just know... I, I mean, I know somebody tweeted uh, on the timeline about something like that, and I just said that NFL pays their bills, so they're gonna they're going to continue to march the NFL. Does the NFL message. pay their bills though? Yes. This man works for Disney. He still pays his bills. NFL on ESPN. Um, NFL on CBS. NFL on Fox. For Monday Night Football. They pay for that. Yeah, but you only you only named one network that is owned by Disney. The NFL is a is a, is a is a separate entity. Now I know that they yes they have a partnership with Disney. With uh, Monday Night Football and and they have several licensing agreements because they that's how they can do sports. You know they have NFL countdown, do, right? I, I'm well aware of that. Can't do this. So. But I guess the part that I was most bothered by because it goes against everything that I believe in. I don't know if you know you remember a few weeks ago when I did the Take It From Me, I was talking about how um, strategically, strategically. Um, Jay Z was involved. No, 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 no. Strategically, s discussions need to be held in private. Certain discussions need to be held in private, and definitely all domestic quarrels need to be held in private. I don't think Stephen A. wants a lot of his quarrels to be held in private. But see, that's what I'm saying. So, how much of this is is truly him performing? Because again. The stance that he keeps going, he keeps saying how badly he wants Colin Kaepernick in the NFL. Because he, he'll he be the first to say that he was uh, I think that's mistreated a, and done wrong. I think that's a, a dog whistle. Right. And so I mean, by I the NFL. I think we're on the same lines. Because my point is, if you truly wanted him in the NFL as badly as you say you did. But this dude is also... Why didn't chance. you help him strategically because that's supposedly that's your position you were saying you didn't agree with what he did because there was no strategy in it that all he did was offend the nfl's owners and when you wanting to be a part of that that organization as badly as he claimed he did you you went about it wrong which i mean he did go about it wrong in a sense, I but there are supposed to have been many things that occurred that. Who did he go? I mean, I I don't understand people saying that he went about it wrongly. Like to who? Well, I mean, he could have. There, there was definitely a devil way he could have handled. How is there another way? It's kind of hard. How's another way to he be handled? suing your employer and asking them to give you a job? Right. Right. That, that in itself easy. is complicated. You're absolutely right. And he, again, he could have definitely still done some things and differently. And they're the ones that drug the lawsuit out so long. But you were he, still suing them up to, what, two years ago? Yes, he was. But the NFL caused this themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here's, here's my take on this issue. I'm sorry, I'll let you No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm coming from like a totally different perspective. Not totally, a little bit different perspective. So, what it all comes down to me is that Stephen A. Smith is basically upset that Colin Kaepernick won't conform, won't conform, won't play the game, okay? So where Stephen A. Smith and several other people are coming from, and several other people are coming from, is that if you want to have a job, you have to play the game to get the job. Okay, that's basically what they're saying. That if you just toe the line, do what you need to do, get the job, and then everything else will work itself out from there. And what Colin Kaepernick and technically the newer generation is saying is that they're trying not to conform. That they no longer that want to conform. That they will not do it. So right. what's my issue is that the premise in my opinion, that Colin Kaepernick even still legitimately wants a job is wrong. I do not think Colin Kaepernick legitimately wants a job 
because he's not willing to do the things that he needs to to get the job. Not saying that he should have to do them or shouldn't. Just simply saying what needs to be done to get that job, he's not willing to do. One. Two, at this point, his platform is probably better served not on a football team. But it can't be off of simply because I don't want to play. It has to continue to look like or is what it is that they don't want me to play. That they won't let me play. So we put on this workout. Knowing that I'm not going to get a job. I wasn't going to get a job before. I'm not going to get a job two months from now. That's fine. I just need everybody to know it's not me. Stephen A. Smith is like, well, one, you didn't tell me that. Two, Stephen A. Smith is like, bro, do you want a job? If you want a job, then we'll get you a job, but you have to do it their way. Right. And I, and, and I agree with some of what you're saying as far as, yeah, I, I, yes, I don't think he really wants to play in the, in the NFL. I think he wants the means and 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 being a part what you of mean the, the NFL. No, 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 no. And nothing. What you mean the means? Because the man's not hurting. No, 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 no. He's not hurting. But with what he is doing with his know your rights campaigns, that gets expensive. That it does. That gets expensive. Sidebar, Eric Reed got hurt today. Yes, he did. But he finished the game. But um He's a safety. That's what they do. <laughs> fingers off that gets expensive what he's doing with his know the right campaign that gets expensive and so of course not that he's going to run out of money but i imagine that things are he he, he would like to have he continue the salary continue doing what he's doing with the salary of an nfl player uh, I, I mean, because that allows him that presents him with the means to be able to continue to do the great things that he is doing with the Know Your Rights campaign. That allows him to continue to do the fundraising, continue to do the, 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 the he giveaways. Hasn't been a, he hasn't been an NFL player for the last, I don't know how long. Exactly. The, the Three years. Of his, exactly. So imagine and doing. he's been able to do what he's been able exact, to do. Exactly. So imagine doing what he's doing with a substantial, uh, with a, a significant change in income now. But that's my point. It wasn't. Why was? Why? Why? Why do you assume it was a significant change? He wasn't guaranteed ninety million dollars. No, he well, wasn't. He, had, he but got twenty million. He definitely like wasn't getting paid for for not playing. No, he's not. But he was getting paid. He from wasn't other on. Places. He what? He's getting paid from other entities. The only thing, right? He was still getting paid from Nike. But that's not the same from being paid from Nike and I'm the not NFL. Talking about that. I'm saying you get paid to show up. You get paid to talk. Yeah, but that's not still the same amount of money he gets paid as being an NFL no, player. I didn't say it was. So what I I'm said saying, he's not hurting. I have. I think that's that the not NFL my statement money, either. That the, that money has nothing to do with that. It. I think it has everything to do with money again, because knowing doing his know the rights campaign. I'm talking about what he's doing with his campaign. Yes, but if he how is that bread, being supported? Why wouldn't he go get the bread? How is that being supported? It's I'm being sure supported donations. like other nonprofits are being supported. It's being supported through donations. Right. And through tax money. And other right. things like that. Right. So now, you don't think when he initially started this, under, with, when he initially started the Know Your Rights campaign, with an NFL salary, you don't believe. <laughs> That things have now become more expensive, and that he is, like you said, he may not be hurting, but you don't think that he would like to have that something, some something substantial to be able to support what he's trying to get done. For example, this no, is just I, an example. I, understand. I remember I was watching a documentary on George Foreman some years ago, right? And George Foreman was talking about all this money he generated as a as a as a as a heavyweight champion. He's like, man, I spent money on all kind of stuff I didn't need. I bought Rolls Royces. I had uh, 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 pedigrees of, of German Shepherds and all these exotic dogs. I had this, that, and the other. And he said, in the moment I began to do something of purpose with his, with his organization, whatever that was, he said, I couldn't, have, I couldn't keep enough money. 
He said, to the point where my organization began to fold, and that was the reason that I came back to boxing. I came back in 89 and started boxing again because I needed the money. You don't think that Colin Kaepernick, now that he has a purpose, now that he is doing something that is bigger than him, now wants to be able to support what he is doing with his NFL money? Yes, but I think every person that's running a nonprofit would like NFL money to be able to support their organization. I think everyone that starts a foundation would like boxing money to be able to support their foundation. The point of the foundations is that that's not needed. Right, but how many of them actually have access to an opportunity to do such a thing? And that's why I'm saying I believe that's his reasons for wanting to be in the NFL. I don't believe that he's in love with football anymore. No. I believe he has found a bigger purpose. And in order to support his bigger purpose, he wants the means of the NFL. He also wants the platform of the NFL. He is much more serving in the NFL with the NFL funds behind him than he would be without it. Now, he can still get the job done. Once he gets an NFL team, he has once he if he gets on an NFL team, I guess technically depending on the circumstances in which he does it, um, I feel like that diminishes his platform. I feel like that diminishes his ability not his platform because it gets bigger. But and what, it diminishes what? his ability to it it just seems less authentic. The things he's doing, talking about, things he's going to do, it's just going to seem less authentic. I don't I don't. I feel it would diminish his ultimate standing and what he's trying to do, what, what he's make, trying to get accomplished. What makes it inauthentic if he becomes a member of the NFL again? Which part? Because the racism has not stopped. The police brutality has not stopped. You're kneeling for those reasons. You were blackballed because you took a knee. You took a knee due to the racism. Thus, you were blackballed basically behind or as a just another factor of the racism. That has not changed. So now you're going to wait four years and come back and conform now. And now you're going to play the game? That's assuming he's going to conform. Who says no, he's going to conform? We, we've all, we established in the opening that if you don't conform, you're not going to get the job, right? Well, no, that's not necessarily true. Now, Name one that has it. You can Name still person that has not, that that, has not okay. apologized after being suspended by that the league goes back, and that, has gotten back in. That goes back Fontes to Burfitt. That goes back to being Fontes strategic. Burfitt is banned for life. Not life. He's just out for and the I season. I think he did apologize. No, nah, I don't think he did apologize. He's crazy. That that goes <laughs> back to the being strategic. And he's from ASU. And by no means do I I don't want him to conform in any way. However, Again, there, there are certain ways he can do things and still become a member of the football team. I mean, still become a, a member of the NFL. Kenny Stills is still kneeling. Eric Reed is still kneeling. Well, I say to that, they're not faces of a franchise, though. So. And Kyle Kaepernick wouldn't be when he gets back in the NFL either. Yeah, he would. He's a what? quarterback. He's not going to be a starting what? quarterback. He's going to have to be Mason a starting Mason Rudolph wasn't the starting quarterback, and he was the face of the franchise for however long, and then he got benched. He's going to have to be a starting quarterback. Because the quarterbacks He's out He's not going to come trash. back to ride the pine pony. No, it's not even that. The other quarterbacks are trash. There are some trash quarterbacks out there. But I don't and know any not, person. And there's not enough jewels coming in this draft to help that out. We just Half saw one. We just saw one. He just had surgery, so he. <clears throat> who was that? That boy, twenty years old, broke a hip. To a who does oh. that? He he. Your hip is done. like solid, bro. Like he's done, and you solid. That, how you gonna say that man done? He's if he gets hurt in college in that fashion, ain't no way. He's already had four surgeries. Ain't no way he holding up into an NFL surprised. team. You'd be surprised how many NFL players have surgery. Many of them you just don't know about. Not four of them. You'd be surprised. Many of them you and just don't know up? about. And who's held up? Who's held up? 
Please tell me who. That's a part of the game. Who's held That's up? That's what they do. They all get surgery. Who's held up? That boy Mark Schlereth played 15 years. They had like 30-something surgeries. I'm surgery. telling they all get surgery. Not That's college, what they though. do. I mean, yes, he had them they in pros. Do. He didn't have those. He didn't have those surgeries Frank in college. Frank Gore had tore up both his knees in college. Recall. And not only did he, what did he do today? He well, became they, the third. When did Frank Gore tear up uh, both knees? He tore up both his knees at the University of Miami. When? Twice. At the University when? of Miami. Whenever he was playing at the University yeah, of Miami. Because I know what the, the running back before him did, they and he didn't all, last too long. McGay, he, Frank Gore he was gone. Frank tore up Gore, both of his knees gone, at the University of Miami. And he also did it once before in the NFL. And today, he became the third all-time leading rusher those in are the knees. history of the NFL. Those are knees. That's oh not God. saying much. I mean, those are knees. Because we all know Frank Gore is the third best rusher in the world. <laughs> I'm just saying, those are knees, though. Those ain't nobody's hip. The last yeah. person you don't know heard about somebody got something with a hip ain't play. You're right. It was Bo Jackson. We talked about that. But there's another dude that came back and is playing. From their hip? Name. Yeah. Who? That's yeah. significant? Bo Jackson did, but again. Yes, I got to look it up. Tua had hip surgery to deal with a, a broken hip, which is different from having hip replacement, which is completely different. That's what technology, you're trying to avoid. technology has advanced since that time. Yeah, but your body had to advance though. And then you got to remember, you're playing in a league that does not allow him to be touched. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean he can't get touched. That yeah, you're right. It doesn't mean he can't be touched. Anyway, that's I'm not the hit. I'm just saying, there's no, there's no. Jewels it is out way there. too early to say that that man is done. Not yeah. to mention, he might decide to come back another year because his draft stock might have possibly dropped. Eh, we'll, that remains Whatever to be seen what will happen to him. He's not playing for this next year. It don't Whatever it is, he won't league. be ready for this draft. You might right. as well go to the league, get you a check, and don't play that year instead of going to Alabama and getting that smaller check. He won't be ready for this draft, more than likely. But back to the Kaepernick thing. Kaepernick, uh... And as far as... My thing is, I don't understand why these supposed uh, Oops. minority billionaires don't come together and just make a, their own league. You know, I'm with you 100% on that. I mean, everybody, I've everybody's always, been, always trying to get a table somewhere. Just make your own table. We have talked about that. You, Just you make your own table. You don't have to have table nobody. In collegiate sports, and nobody goes. That's because they've been suckered. They've been suckered. They take all the all so the good people. So, what do you people. think? This brand new league that's not going to have any backing, that's going to have several white people mad at it in the first place. What do you think that's going to? You don't you have think to. But see, what he, I, think, I think what he's saying, and what I, what, what I agree with is, who cares what that's other that, again? Say. That's having an issue with wanting to be no, included with them. Nobody's gonna be able to see it. Nobody's gonna watch it. Nobody's. It's not gonna be on TV. What he's saying is that's Boy, not the, that's not the people you're going after. Boy, stop! You can put it on BT. You're going after your. You're it. going after yours, and you're trying to keep only yours. First off, you can't put it on BT. Why you guess can't? Who owns BT? Viacom. I can tell you, Viacom. You could put it on. Rock, you could put it on Revolt. You could put it on so many other, on so oh, many other. This players. is true. I mean, it's not like millionaires can't come together and, and come together and present a. That's what I'm saying. Why network. don't you just? Yeah. Truth be told, you can call Oprah and say, "Look, Oprah, we got a golden opportunity with you to get sports." Who's coming up with his own mentioning league? Channels nobody watches. Like you're mentioning channels where you will get no rating. It's supply and demand. If you have something that they're interested in, you think they're not gonna follow it? I, I, first off, you have to be able to get it. I can't even get Revolt. Second off, no. What you talking about? Yes, people are gonna follow it, but they're not gonna go watch your games. They're gonna watch. They're gonna go to Twitter and do it, or they're gonna do some uh, find it some other way. Okay, okay. so then there's you a reason you put stuff on ABC, so CBS, so you and evolve, NBC. You evolve with the times. There are definitely ways around it. And plus, it's a reason that those same those same conglomerates had to then they had to then adjust and they began to start streaming and doing things of that nature because people were starting to go outside of them because there's and a, forced them to do that. There's a whole nother football league coming in January. And and there was a whole nother football league that just collapsed last year. I'm not saying they should not get together and do their own. 
I'm not saying that. I'm saying be ready. Get your bread up. Don't Absolutely. go to revolt. Don't stream it online only. You have because to you have a platform now where you can literally have these kids going from middle school to high school to HBCUs and then into your league. And we can't even get them into HBCUs. We can't even get them to donate to HBCUs. We can't even get the HBCUs alumni to donate back into HBCUs. But see, that's, that's, that's what we're talking about because that's still the attitude of inclusion. Because they, they still want to be a part of that. They want to be a part of, ooh, look look how shiny it is, mama. Look how pretty it is. And so my question will be, what would make them go to the uh, Minority Billionaires League? It's going to take some work, but that's what I'm saying. You got to completely change your mentality. We got to completely change our mentality. Like I said, this is what we talked about when we were talking about the, the black agenda, right? How we were talking about inclusion versus uh, uh, separatism, separatists, or segregation. Mm -hmm. and, and having your own versus wanting to be included in somebody who doesn't value you. They only value you for what you can do for them. Why do we continue to want to be a part of such systemic oppression? Why do we want to continue to be a part of something as... as, as, as well, that, is a, that is a lot deeper of a conversation because there are several reasons in which, as a people, we are... You're right. In that manner. And You're right. And it's one that we, we don't really we have don't the time really to have. We don't really have time to get so into. So now, let me let the folk know what they're listening. You're listening to The Garage Apartment. We're here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. So now we're talking about, we were talking about Stephen A versus Kaepernick. We got a little bit off, off subject. So now I know as far as my issue with, again, with Stephen A. Smith is it's quite self-serving because somehow he didn't find a way to insert himself in the situation. He reached out to me and others and but we're fighting on his behalf. Him, he's simply just saying what happened. Like, but I also think that he is also trying to give himself a more important role in the situation than it really was. Because truly, if you played such an integral part that you're claiming that you have, why you didn't know about what was going down with the workout? Why did you not know anything about the but workout? But if I'm so, if I'm so uh, unimportant, then why are, is everybody at me with any kind of problems or questions that they have about it? Why is everybody pulling me out? And Jay-Z out as the, the coons, if you will, the scapegoats, the Uncle Toms, whatever you want to call them. When, and this is not, this is when, I, as far as the T.O. First off, why is T.O. on the show talking about that in the first place? And then second off, he came at him. Like this, everybody's well, been coming at the man. T.O. was on it because during, during the show, the original show, T.O. responded to him and said, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. He called him a... Uh, no, uh, during, literally during the show... Literally during the show, he 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 texted Stephen A. Smith during the show, and he said, "Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. It was a it was a separate uh, 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 waiver." All right. Can't see. You. How's everybody doing? Death is a mod. He he has made it. Hey, people. <laughs> who let know? Glory. Oh, who is that? Yeah. In all his glory. In all my glory. Right there. So, 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 but my, okay, so like, and let me get, I don't agree with Stephen A. Smith at all, so I'm not trying to defend him. I'm just trying to see all sides of the story. So, my one thing with Stephen A. Smith, like I'm saying, first off, everybody's coming at him, so he has no other choice but to get defensive. Okay, that's going to happen. But my thing is that basically or, because he feels the stance that he feels on this subject, People have challenged his blackness. People have called him names, implying that he is not only not, not knowledgeable it ain't the about first time. his people. I was going to say, this is not the first time. We've been down this are, road before with Stephen A. <laughs> that they are, but I'm saying, but I'm he's saying not, that that's He doesn't not, know anything about football. He really doesn't. I'm not talking about football. I'm talking about they're coming at him as a black man. Yeah. They're coming at him saying that he is uh, Uncle Thomas, saying that he doesn't do anything for the community, saying that he's a sellout, saying that he got big and, and, and got blah, 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 blah. And I don't agree with that part at all. 
I don't know what the heck the man does, but I know that this one situation for a 50 year old man, you cannot say because he feels that this man should sit here and play the game. That now all of a sudden he's an Uncle Tom. I don't now think that's what it is. I think what people have an issue with is first off how hard he's going, and secondly is because again I told you what my issue is with why are you doing this publicly? If you were involved in it like you claim that you were involved in it, and if you were truly dis if if you were truly disappointed with the way things happened, and if you were truly advocating for him to being back in the NFL like you claim that you are and if you truly want him in the NFL as much as you claim that you do why are you publicly attacking him the way that you are why wouldn't you do this privately well that's what he gets paid to do exactly. why are they so which means you're performing him. he has to do that yeah it's because, a big performance because of how he's doing about it no it's a no, bit of performance it, art it, it, it is they have been they come at they come First in off, what? you have to talk. That's his show. Uh -huh. right? Number one. You don't have to air out business, but you got to talk. Exactly. You don't okay. have to air out business. Exactly. Eric Reed, for the last two weeks, any interview he does, any tweet he's doing, he's including whatchamacallit and Jay-Z in there. And he's talking about how they don't get it, talking about how this is going on over here, blah, 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 blah. That's not necessary. No, it's counterproductive also. It's which just goes back to keep the cycle going. Exactly. Goes back to my point. None of this needs to be done publicly. Being black men, okay. considering that we are actually considering that we are actually trying in all actuality, I think they all want the same thing. Mm -hmm. They just don't agree about how to go about in doing it. They don't they don't agree in the strategy to obtain it. Uh, so why is, is this being battled? Why is this being done publicly? Because I don't think I don't think his comments are original. I don't think they're. When you even say of he, his, who you talking about? Stephen A. Smith. I don't think his his talks, his thoughts, supposedly are original. I don't even think they're his. I don't think his comments are so wrong. Because I think this it's a it's a it's a NFL. What an NFL message. Because you think Stephen A. Smith is towing the NFL's line? Yeah. Uh, I, th I because don't think he's that. he's saying the same thing all the other other commenters are saying. Folks folks with relationships with the NFL. Yeah, he is. He's saying and the so my point is simply there's nothing. But you different. can only say two things, right? Yeah. What's that? You only have his side or you have no you can say side. or you could or, you only have two things to say or you could be he smart should and play, say he nothing. should work out or he shouldn't have or you say nothing at all or you can just well, simply say you can't say, say nothing at all no, no, no he can simply that. say i you was can't disappointed say nothing at all. you can simply say i was disappointed with the way that things went down but a lot of these people wouldn't even accepted that they'd have still called him a coon and all that type of stuff but if he had said I'm disappointed with the way, no, then you're because you got to understand why are you disappointed, yes, Stephen but, yes, because he, you have but, to expound but, upon why that are you point. Disappointed, but see, that's Stephen not a. what he did. What was the first thing he did after the workout? He went on his Twitter and said, "Man, don't nobody say nothing to me about Kaepernick wanting to play football. He don't want to play football. His career is over. From now on, when you see Kaepernick." It's over. He don't want to play football. That he wants to be a model. About everything. He so is my a point, sensationalist. So We've my, established yeah, yeah. that. So what? So again, you can't strike the first blow and then get upset when people respond with the same energy you gave. Keep the same energy, bro. Keep that same energy, bro. Now mention. He ain't tripping. Now, He's granted, on TV every day granted, doing this same granted, thing. Granted, I wish that it, again, this should not be done in public at all. Because another thing that I noticed, for example, he didn't have, he had Howard Bryant on the show with him trying to get them to fill his position. They disagreed. He had Michael Eric Dyson. They disagreed. He had T.O. They disagreed. So then the crazy part was. When he and T.O. had their little quarrel on TV, he didn't do all of that. Did he, man, he said a little bit about, man, you crossed the line, this, that, and the other. But then he goes on his radio show. Oh, wait a minute. All of a sudden, he didn't got big, bold, proud, and all kind of things. He back to really performing on his radio show. And all of a sudden, now he got, he got all kind of comments about things that he didn't say to T.O. on the show. Keep that same energy. 
Because one minute you're saying you don't understand why people are, are, are challenging your blackness, which I don't think they should do. I, I mean, again, that's counterproductive. It really is. But why is this being done publicly? Because you claim that you had a role in this. So why wouldn't you continue to use that role and help him to strategize and come up with a better way? You... Who are we talking about? Stephen A. Smith? Trey I'm talking about in general. 42. This stuff is this is what you're talking about. This is what you have to talk about. When the man got the interview uh the workout and then quit the workout and then had a whole nother workout, that is news. That's what you have to talk about. Right, but you can talk about that without going without attacking this man publicly. Can you not? He, Can he that not be discussed you, without you attack attacking the man, man publicly? He said the man don't want to have a job. He had an opinion and he said it. That's it. He said, don't come at me with Colin Kaepernick. The man don't want to have a job. But based on what? Because he decided not to sign a waiver? Based yeah. On but then one minute, and then it, but at the same based point, he said, he he said wanna... I'm not saying he should have signed a waiver. No, you don't sign your rights up. Okay, but you so go work out. About? Yeah, see, neither... He didn't know all that. Neither entity was wrong. Post. Right. At the juncture we are, the NFL was not wrong for putting the waiver out there. By no means. And Kaepernick was not wrong for, for not, not signing, signing the it. Waiver. Absolutely. Okay, so you had a powder keg anyway. You had a stupid situation in the first place because whoever set this up mishandled it. Completely. Everybody Goodell, involved mishandled Goodell. it one hundred percent. The person who's over the league that's Who's mishandled everything that's been put in front of Yeah, them. now the good thing is they said there were some teams interested. And then Jay-Z talking about he was disappointed, this, that, and that. That's what I think happened. No, Jay-Z <laughs> never said that. Yeah. What was what was said? What it, was it said? Every, look at it. Every time it says reports say oh, okay. Jay-Z feels so that, that he made it, what did he say, a stunt show stunt. or made it a, a PR a, stunt. A PR stunt. Right. They never, Jay-Z, is ne I've never seen him say it. I've looked, too. And every report I've seen says... Jay Z uh, reports say that Jay Z said it was a PR stunt. Mm -hmm. So the reason I was joking about Jay Z having it, we saw how he was not prepared for the press conference about his partnership. So uh, maybe he did have something to do with it. Maybe he did have something to do with it. Yeah, but they know. said that they did it for Jay Z. That's the problem. Is that and that's what Stephen what A was saying. Yeah, do you believe that too? No, I don't. But this is what Stephen A was saying on first take. I'm just saying this is what he said. Is that there are other things behind the scenes that people are doing. All right. That people are trying to do for him, and that he is basically spitting in their face. So why you don't keep that behind the scenes? That's my point. <laughs> Why you don't keep that behind the scenes? I mean, My question is, did he ask for you to do this, though? Supposedly, he knew nothing about any of this. And, uh, but, according to Stephen A. He Smith, said he, he said he was reaching out, for him, reaching out to him asking for help. That's why I said this is almost very self-serving on, on, on his behalf, too. Because he's trying to insert himself into something that I, I don't think he played such a role in. But he's claiming that he did. He's claiming that he did. So my point is, okay, if you played such an integral part in the things that you say that you did, why is it that you knew so little about it? Why is it that you knew so little about it? And if you truly, truly were a part of the strategy plan, why don't you then go back to the drawing board privately and say, look, we need to do this, we need to do this, we need to do this, because we might have possibly just squandered an opportunity. Who says this? Stephen A. say that to his camp, to the Ka Kaepernick he's camp. He's not in the Kaepernick camp. Uh, That's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't understand He why. claims that he's in touch no, with them. No, he has never. He said that he reached out to us, to no, him and several no, other no, people. No, no, no. He said that the Kaepernick. This, and they go back and forth he on said things that the, they could do. No, he said that the Kaepernick camp has been reaching out to him, asking him to help them get Colin back in the league. Well, that's not his role. He's a journalist. Exactly. How does that, how is that, he's not a community activist. I how agree with you 100%. Why the would they be reaching out to him? That doesn't even make sense. I agree. Yeah. That's, my, that's my point. So now somehow he has inserted himself in this. And that's why all of a sudden now he performing so hard about, I don't, I don't get any of it. It's not making sense to me. Why is this going? Why is this being fought publicly? 
as, as, as much as you claim as being a black man who does so much for your community, who love your community, this, that, and other, you don't see that strategically this is not productive for us? This is counterproductive for us? He has said as much. My thing is, it's being fought in the public because they don't talk. Because exactly. they're not in the same camp. I they're agree. not in the same circles. And a journalist they don't would feel never the be same way. Camp. A like, journalist shouldn't be in that case. They, they, they have, that's why they're doing this, because they don't talk. Only time he would see him is after the game, and the man ain't got no job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm with you. I'm with you. I just, I was disappointed with all of that that I saw this week. I was like, wow. I didn't even care. Why yeah. is this being done like this? I'm with you. It, I guess, again, because it just goes against everything that I believe in. Like, you don't do this. You don't do what? You don't fight domestic quarrels in public. It's not a domestic quarrel. No, we don't. It is, though. No, it's not. It's because they're black? It's a, domestic it's a public quarrel? issue. Yes, because supposedly. one guy's black. See, now, see, here you go. Here, here you go with this issue. It's a domestic quarrel. It's a domestic quarrel. Because you have black men fighting publicly about something that is actually supposed to be done for the greater good of all of us. Why? Why is it being done like this? For what reason? How is it, but, but what parts for the betterment of all of us? The whole, the whole start of this was, was Kaepernick kneeling. Uh-huh, to draw attention to. Well, basically it was him kneeling because he didn't, uh, well, because of injustices that he perceived. I'm not saying that they were wrong, but that was his protest again, like I said. Right. It was his protest. He was not trying to start a movement. He was not trying to start a movement. NFL okay. started it, all but this. So but other it, people it jumped grew, in. So it grew legs. Mm -hmm. and, as, and because it grew legs, he basically became collateral damage. Because he was the starter of something that he may not intended for it to be, because he was the starter of a movement, he then was made the scapegoat for it. After that, he believed to be he believed that the league was colluding against him, keeping him from playing in the NFL, and things appear to be that way. He then files a lawsuit against the league while still still holding the stance that he wants to be back in the league. So then, they settle. Three years, he still doesn't have a job. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, they come up with a workout for him. And they now then, everybody can show up all of a sudden. Everybody can show up and this, that, and the other cause, cause, because they are parties fighting on his behalf, according to sources. They are, fight, they, are, they are people fighting on his behalf, trying to get him back in the league. Okay, fine. That might be believable. All of a sudden, it just all of a sudden, they can get it done in... in, in like that he got workouts he got 25 teams interested okay fine but then it's but then they don't present him with a standard waiver and from what from what i understand they gave him something that was not a standard waiver his camp his his advisors his lawyers told him no do not sign that they then went reviewed it came up with a revision came up with a revised version, presented that to the NFL. The NFL didn't agree with that one. So they thus ended up disagreeing, so he decided not to sign the waiver. And all this goofiness happened the day of. Right. So he decides not to sign Who the waiver, it? and he has an alternative workout. I don't understand why, Kev, why Stephen A. is that upset about that part. Because no man in his right mind is going to sign away his rights for an opportunity to do something that he's still doing anyway. And something he sued for. Something that he sued for. So why, why is he so offended by that? And why is he going so hard? That was my question. And I have the same answer. The same, he, he, he has the same thing, Damian Woody. He's, he's the same thing, James Brown. These are, these, are people, these are people who simply want him to conform and play the game. They don't understand how you can sit here and ask this dude for a job and not want to do what it is that needs to be done. At all costs. When at the same time, miraculously, they can understand how these people will sue you to keep you out of the league. But 
I mean, it's a, it's an old people thing. You think so? It's an old people thing for one part. These dudes then, not that old though. And then it's a shield thing. Like the NFL people are gonna rock with the NFL, and that's what's. Let me put it like this: former NFL people are gonna rock with the NFL. Until there are several players until that have they have a problem with, with it. Until they have a problem with it. Till that insurance yeah. checked on. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say until they get kicked off of. Uh, no, yeah, no until until, doing, uh, until they pension and all no, that stuff get that messed around, then they the sue the NFL team. too, right? Well, I mean, suing the NFL. I mean, okay. yeah, it's perfectly fine. For. There's people who still have an interest in the NFL who who are part of the concussion lawsuit and other things. I work for an entity that. Uh, sues all the time. and people still work there while they sue them. So right, exactly. I mean, it's okay. Okay. That's not unprecedented. I I had an argument with somebody this past week who, on the Facebook who was saying, well, why would he even want to be a part? And this is the conversation I was listening to after when I was getting hit and run earlier. I'll tell you all about that off air. But, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> where y'all were talking about. Um, so throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. We don't have time to go over that. We probably might want to talk about that next weekend. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But uh, the, 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 the whole thing of why he would want to play. And, and and why can't he do uh, just just like Hadari was saying? I, first off, I don't think he doesn't love football anymore. The man's still a competitor. He still looks at the NFL and sees that he could be out there playing right. Right. and that he could rate. And he's got very few years left to cement his legacy as a competitor. So I think that's number one. I'm sorry to say, I think that's even above the money. Then secondly, of course, the thing you said about George Foreman, I heard that same thing. He needed money for his uh, his deal, and you people <laughs> ain't helping nobody. Well, y'all ain't supporting a damn thing. <laughs> that's what I asked the people who were saying, why would he even want to? But I was like, okay, so you going to send him a donation check? All right. Hmm? For his activist work? Martin Luther King and Malcolm X both broke. Right. Hmm? right. Mega Evers is broke. They ain't broke. Families were you broke. giving them money? Is anybody going to? No. So the man needs funds for that, and he needs to eat. He has Nike contracts, nice. Right. But he, 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 there's going to be no Nike contract in 15 years. There's not. And but the only but way his cause is still going to yeah, be. Yeah, the person tell me, well, there's all kinds of stuff he could do. There's real estate. There's venture capitalism. I'm like, what do you think he knows about venture capitalism? He's a football player. Call it no football. <laughs> okay, that's what he know. Just like Bo, Colin no football. Colin don't know venture capitalism. Absolutely, man. So look, we have to leave it there. Once again, you are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, garageapt.com. Thank you for everybody checking us out live on Facebook. Be sure to check us out each and every Sunday night. We appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a wonderful week. Be good. If you can't be good, stay. Be good at it, man. Stay blessed. We'll holler at y'all. I love how you let people travel. Yeah. The Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos, Let me hear something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.